Hi everyone, I am Mrs. Carmichael, the ELL teacher here at Northwood Middle School, and I am going to show you how to navigate my page. The first thing that you will notice is that you are on the welcome page. The welcome page has a lot of information. It has the supply list of things that you would need to use in class. Um, it has a little bit of information about me, my Bitmoji, um, a calendar that has upcoming events um, such as due dates, tests, a little bit about the class, the video here on how to use my page if you forget, um, the schedule, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. There is also a link to the calendar for the Fort Wayne Community Schools if you want to see what day you're attending school. Um, in my classroom, we only have a few rules. First is that we are respectful, we work quietly, we listen carefully, we put our hands up if we have questions or if we have a need, we speak English because we are learning English in this class, and we don't make fun of each other because we will be making mistakes and that is okay because we are learning. When you are on Zoom, it is an expectation that you are on time. You are respectful to your teacher and your classmates. You use the mute button when you are not talking. You will need to raise your hand if you have a question or a need. You'll need to find a quiet place to work so that you are not being distracted by uh, brothers or sisters, your family or pets. Um, use your name when you log into Zoom. Remember, you need your first and last name. Um, make sure that you use your chat feature uh, to ask me questions privately or to talk to me privately. Um, you can use reactions to show that you understand. Um, thumbs up or thumbs down, or you can give me an exciting emoji um, so that I know that you're understanding. Okay, and then you're going to demonstrate Northwood pride and sh uh, make sure that you are making good decisions that your parents would be proud of. Okay, um, we are going to go to my parent guardian page. Here again is the classroom supply list. My office hours are every day from 11 to 12. This is the best time to email me if you have a question. To email me or contact me, you have a couple of options. You can email me here by clicking this link and um, it will allow you to email me directly. You can also talk to me on Talking Points app. Um, this is a text feature that you can text with me at any time. Uh, morning, day, afternoon, nighttime, whatever is convenient for you. The directions for how to download the app and sign up for my class are here in different languages and if you need it. Um, how you will be graded, we are following the Fort Wayne Community Schools grading scale. Testing, we do assessments throughout the semester. In January every year we do WIDA. More information on that can be found here by clicking on the handout that matches the language that you need. Um, and then over here, if you need device insurance for your computer, you can click on this link and it'll show you how to do that. If you want to check your student's grade, click the PowerSchool link and sign in. Here is helpful link to the Fort Wayne Community Parent page or the Northwood homepage. Next, we are gonna go to the support page. Click support page. And it'll give you important information about how to call an interpreter if you need an interpreter. If you need the multi-line, you can call here. Spanish, Burmese, call these numbers if you need to call the school and talk to somebody. Again, you can find the device insurance plan here. Frequently asked questions about ELL. If you need help with your technology, you can call the help desk at this phone number 
or you can call the interpreter line if you need help. These are links to commonly used websites or apps that I use in my classroom. Each link will take you to the web page that your student will go to to sign in. I have included all of the class codes for each class so your student will know which code to enter when they are prompted to enter the class code. The bilingual content glossary here if you want to um, find words in math, language arts, science, social studies, um, you can click this link and it will take you, if you scroll down the page, English language arts, all of the different languages, math glossaries for elementary, middle school, and high school, um, geometry, algebra two, calculus, um, common core math terms, we also have science glossaries for elementary, middle school, and high school. Scroll down. We have social studies, the same. Um, and then you just click your language that you need. Now we are gonna go back to the PowerSchool page. Okay. And we are going to look at how to find the daily assignments for my class. Here you will see that I have units with dates. So you wanna choose the date that is current. Currently we are in September 28th through November 6th. So I'm going to click the arrow. You will see the different weeks. Currently we are in the week of October 5th through the 9th. So I'm going to click this and you will see the available days. Um, I will click on Monday, October 5th, to show you how to navigate on my page. The first thing you will see is the link to the attendance. Students need to click this link. It will take them to the attendance page. They will choose the day that they are present. And then they will click submit. And this will submit their attendance to me. Next, you will see a Zoom box. If we have a Zoom, students just need to click the Zoom and it will start the Zoom at the time that I have scheduled. Next, you will see the daily agenda. This is what we are doing for the day. Students can go through the list and find all of the information on the page. Okay, the next thing that I am going to show you is how to turn in an assignment. So, if you go to your activities, you will click the down arrow, go to assignments. If you have a green check mark, that means that you turned in the assignment. That's good. If you don't have a green check mark, you did not turn in the assignment. So you can click on the assignment to see more information about it, get the paper that you need for it by clicking it. And then to hand in the assignment, you will go to hand in, click it. You can write me a message if you want to type a message to me. Then you will click the button that says attach from Google Drive. So you will click attach. You will choose the um, assignment that you last had. Then you will click the hand in button. Once you hand it in, you will see that you have a green check mark. You did it correctly. Okay. Other features that you can see are assessments. 
you can see what assessments that you have the day that it is due. You can see discussions. You can see what uh, discussions that are needing to be completed. You can see what page it is on and what day it was due. Okay, we're going to go back to the pages. And again, um, if you click on any of these pages, you can see the assignment with the attendance. Do this first. Zoom, do this second. Check your daily agenda, do that third. And then complete the assignments on the page. If you have any questions, remember that you can always contact me through email. Um, or you can um, send me a message on talking points. And I hope that this video was helpful for you.